Hey guys, how are you? We're back uh, just taking a break from actually looking at one of the companies. We got another company to look at here in just a bit. Um, we got a lot to cover. Biden says there's nothing he can do to bring down gas and food prices. I'm going to talk about why he said that in the near term. Also, we're going to talk about stimulus checks, what an update is, and these states that will be sending out payments June. In June, these are our states that are going to send out money to you. We got to cover that. And also we got to $250 that we got to talk about starts next week. So this is a, a monthly one that we got to talk about 250 bucks. I know it's not a lot, but it's monthly. So in four months, it'll be a thousand dollars. Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to the show. If you're new, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this. Also throw a comment in the comment section. I'm giving away $2,000 when we hit 200,000 subscribers, which hopefully you'll help me hit that, uh, which would be awesome. Uh, I'm so humbled by all of you and love you guys. Please uh, don't forget to put a comment in there so that you enter to win $2,000. Don't want you to miss out on that. And subscribe. It's free. Hit the bell notification. It'll tell you when my videos pop up. So Biden says there's nothing he can do to bring down those gas prices. And, uh, well, we got to hear his perspective. He is the president. He should be in the know. Also, we've got a bunch of states that are sending out checks in June. So make sure you check that out. Uh, make sure you listen to what I have to say about that, because your state could be a state that's given out money. My name is Andrew Cartwright, and it is a fantastic Friday in California, here in Calabasas. Um, Kim Kardashian is just down the street over there, as well as uh, the family. Uh, with the Kardashian show. If you don't know the show, I'm in Calabasas, which is right next to them. Make sure you check out my real estate program if you haven't. It. It's only 99 bucks, normally a thousand bucks. It's, uh, I spent 40 grand on this education that's in it. So please don't miss out on it. It's yours forever. 36 videos, resource list, how to buy, when to buy, market cycles, all kinds of stuff. So I really don't want you to miss out on that and make sure that you grab those six free stocks. You can fund your account for a penny and the stocks are you know, it could be up to $1,600 and uh, you only spent a penny to get that money. So it's really cool. It's beautiful here in Calabasas. Um, it's a little kind of overcast a little bit here, but um, actually quite beautiful. And uh, it's really nice here. Um, people definitely complain about taxes, though. I'll tell you that. That's all over the place. You can't do anything and it costs too much. But first, President Joe Biden said Wednesday there's little he can do about the lowering the cost of gasoline and food in the immediate term, acknowledging that the prices of these goods will remain high as he works to bring them down. Other incurred by families, I know that he met with J Jay Powell and he also met with uh, Yellen a couple days ago, a few days ago to talk about what they can do. Ultimately, it's, it was like, okay, we're going to raise interest rates because we're doing great. They, that's their conversation. We're doing great, even though we've got inflation out of control. They think by putting more pain on everybody, that will do it. I know today I was looking at the stock market. Discretions were down. Consumer discretionary goods were down 2.72%. You know what that tells me? It tells me you don't get to buy the things you want. And energy prices are up. So you're, you get energy, but you don't get to buy the fun stuff that makes you feel good and that's not cool to me that just means more pain biden said that there quote there's a lot going on right now but the idea we're going to be able to uh click or flip a switch and costs will go down gasoline is not likely in the near term nor is it with in regards to food end quote well biden i guess on one thing we agree Biden and his team are seeking to place heavy emphasis on the economy in the coming weeks as the president looks to demonstrate his commitment to, um, uh, to reining in that inflation that's happening. Even as he says there's not much he can do about it, the president has taken um, and made his administration and put the message in that he wants his approval rating not to sink anymore he actually wants to help curb this because so many people are feeling the pain. His plan is centered on allowing the Federal Reserve to, uh, to be as necessarily independent. That was what was part of the meeting. 
they can be as independent as possible, create as much pain for Americans as possible to make sure that they keep their independence and uh, inflation and monetary policy will do whatever they have to do for themselves for money to stay strong, which is what the Federal Reserve cares about. All they care about is money, making sure their money that they create, them and the, the Treasury, don't lose too much value, that they lose control that way, no matter how much pain we go through. But Biden conceded there was little that he could do along to lower those heightened costs and those spikes that we're dealing with. He pointed, out, uh, he pointed to Russians' invasion of Ukraine and ensuring the effect of energy and grain, because you know we get a lot, most, a lot of our grain from Russia from actual Ukraine, which is going to be crippling. Um, we're going to be really crippled when it comes to wheat. We already have food shortages that we're talking about, a lot of food shortages alarming many people, and uh, we could see a lot more before all this is over, um, as we discussed earlier on Thursday. Well, let's hope that they'll figure something out as soon as possible. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, they, that we can do anything about this? Do, is it completely out of our hands? Because I, I honestly think, and I've talked about it on this channel, it's a supply chain problem. I don't think raising interest rates to um, make money more expensive and hurting the economy is uh, the way to bring down inflation. I think you have a national emergency when it comes to supply chain and just get it fixed. In fact, at the end of this month, June, they're talking about the port. Port Union is talking about striking for more money, which is going to make it even worse. Mean, not to bring bad news, right? Meanwhile, Americans in two states and homeowners across the country could see additional relief checks this month. The good stuff. While it remains unclear whether we might see a forced stimulus check from the federal government, which they're distracted and think that they've given enough money to all the states, which in fact they have. Um, Maine and New Mexico residents are eligible to receive stimulus checks through, a state, through their state governor. Again, Maine and New Mexico. Um, governor and lawmakers, they're pushing for more payments in light of decades of uh, these high, decade high inflation rates. We're 40 up, but uh, the flip side is, and the report came out today, our unemployment's like a 53-year 53, 53 low in, in unemployment. Can you believe that? In Maine, the first round, as we talked about, $850 relief checks are going out to residents. Of course, double that for married couples that file jointly as they'll get money. Um, as the state receives more income tax returns, the payments uh, will go out all the way until the end of the year. So if you're eligible to be eligible, all you have to do is be an individual who uh, files taxes in the state income tax October 31st. But they can't claim dependence on another tax return and must have a federal adjusted gross income of $100,000. If you're a head of household, it's $150,000. And if you're a couple that files jointly, it's only $200,000 that you can make jointly if you file together. If you're over that, um, I imagine they'll start scaling that back. But if you are under that, it's just a simple check. Again, this is for the month of June. This is coming out. So keep your eyes open. And finally, couples filing jointly, uh, 200000 or less income last year can apply and get direct payments of $250 for each child below the age of 18. It's capped at $750 for three. The threshold for singular, single file earners and households are set at $100,000 and a respective uh, 160,000 respectively for those. So those who made slightly more than income threshold in 2021 can still qualify for the rebate, which is shaved 10% for every extra thousand dollars in income on the year. So I guess that means if you make 10,000 more than that, you, it can completely wipes it out altogether. The state of Connecticut estimates as many as 350,000 families will benefit from it as of 5 p.m. Wednesday, which is the last uh, I read about it. Over 8,000 applicants have been filed. So the White House released estimates in March that 390,000 Connecticut families claimed a child tax credit dependent. So based on those numbers, I guess that's what will be going out in the state from the state 
to get to people, including those relief measures. And that all comes from the American Rescue Plan. And parents have until July 31st, that's the end of next month, to claim the child tax credit rebate from Connecticut Department of Revenue. The payments are slated to go out by late August and the application points, uh, you can go right online to uh, portal, P-O-R-T-A-L dot C-T dot gov forward slash DRS. That's their website, the government website. Um, with phone assistance available through the DRS hotline, which is 860-297-5999 or the United Ways 211 assistance line So to get information about that. So if you live in Connecticut, go and get your hands on this. This is money, folks. It's money that uh, I've never seen it before in history where we have stimulus payments going out to everyday people that are struggling because there's money out there to keep this economy going. That's your stimulus check for the fantastic Friday, June 3rd, 2021. I hope you guys are having a great time, ready for a fantastic weekend. Um, hope you guys are doing well. You know what I really wanna do? I'm out here looking at companies because I'm partnering with somebody to buy a company um, to fund it. I'm gonna fund it. They're gonna run it. And uh, it's probably the biggest opportunity of their life. Uh, so they're, she's very excited. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, $17 million company, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, give you a hint, uh, you know, the uh, Kardashians are um, in this business or part of this business. So at any rate, just to give you a little, little clue on that. My name is Andrew Cartwright, I love you. I hope you guys are doing fantastic on this beautiful Friday. It's kind of overcast here, but it's probably good for my surgery. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's, uh, it's getting better. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care. Love you.